What's up everybody? This weekend Chelsea and I decided to take a little road trip to Asheville, North Carolina and specifically to go to the Biltmore Estate. <laughs> Chelsea went to Vanderbilt University and the Vanderbilt are the ones are the <laughs> and the Vanderbilt are <laughs> and the Vanderbilt are the ones who built the Biltmore. Wow, there's a lot of Bilts going Bilt. on right now. Yeah. <laughs> so she's been wanting to come here for a while. I was here in January and it's really cool, so we decided to make a good weekend out of it. And we kept camped out in Fiona last night, so how was your first time camping in Fiona? It was great. It was very comfortable. <laughs> better than Chelsea hasn't been camping in like ten, at least 10 years. Probably 10 years. So it was better than sleeping on the ground. Much better. Yeah, no kidding. And she still cooks really well in a van. All right, time to go see the Biltmore. We're right here. You go over those, you go over those steps, and then you get to see the Vanderbilt House estate, whatever the heck it's called. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? ready. Are you ready? Whoa! <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, it's insane. Goodness gracious. Oh, cool, and they have a Christmas tree now, too. Already Christmas. <laughs> yeah. We're going under, and there's nothing we can do. The final hour before we let it go to rest. We got done checking out the house. Couldn't film in the house, though, so that was slightly annoying, but we could take pictures. Then after that, we just... Horses wouldn't let Chelsea pet them, which was kind of sad. They were too busy eating. I get it. That's true. And the fence was electrified, so we didn't really want to try and crawl through. I didn't crawl through it. That would have been bad. But the donkeys came and said hi. What are we doing now? Oh yeah. Wine. Yeah. <laughs> now we're horses and wine. Now we're doing two of Chelsea's favorite things: <laughs> horses and wine. Now we're gonna go do some wine tasting. Good morning. Welcome to the second day in North Carolina. Last night we slept in the woods, like right off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. That's the Blue Ridge Parkway right there. And we've got this gorgeous view. All the all the fall colors are starting to actually fall off right now, but the views are still incredible. And we've got to go see a waterfall, and then the highest point in America, east of the Mississippi. I need coffee. How am I doing? You're doing great. Good. Keep coming back. Yeah. Okay. Am I gonna go off the mountain? No. Okay, that's good. Okay, stop there. How is it? <laughs> Kinda muddy. Kinda but muddy. You're not gonna go off the mountain anymore. We stopped to take pictures and then I got stuck because I was <laughs> I tried to pull forward <laughs> over to there so a car could get by. But then there was mud and then it didn't it's rough. It didn't work out. Nice. Getting into trouble. <laughs> it happens. So now you think I'm good? Uh, yeah. Okay. I might back up a couple more feet, actually. Okay, I'll do that. Just get. How close to the edge am I? It's pretty close. You see it? No. Oh. It stops right there. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> good to know. Well, let's get out of here then. Yes. Go on. Go on. Oh. Definitely spun. There it is. Made it. That was a great <laughs> Sunday morning adventure. Hopefully that's the last of them. <laughs> Unstuck, we decided to go up to Mount Mitchell, which is the highest point in the United States, east of the Mississippi. How high is it? 66 something, almost 6,900 feet? I think. Yeah. It's over a mile above sea level, which is actually pretty cool for the east. And now we're doing a fresh off the grid special, which is, Chelsea, what is it? It's pesto, tomatoes, chickpeas. We were debating amongst ourselves like a couple weeks ago when we were planning this about what sandwich fixings that we should make. And then Megan and Michael posted like five great sandwiches for a road trip. We were inspired. This being one of them, you should check it out. It's, I'm kind of really looking forward to eating this. What do you want to do after this? I don't know, are we gonna find a waterfall? We can find a waterfall or something. We'll find something. I would give that sandwich maybe a four out of five. Chelsea, what do you give the sandwich? Three and a half. Three and a half out of five? Yeah. Could have, could have had maybe a little bit more flavor to it, 
and we also noticed that it was really difficult. Maybe I didn't crush up the garbanzo beans enough, but it kind of fell apart a little bit, which made it a little bit difficult, but overall, it was still a really good lunch. What do you see? I'm just looking at that sunspot again. Oh yeah. <laughs> we decided to ditch the idea of going to a waterfall and instead came to this place called Craggy Gardens, which I've been wanting to come here for a while to explore, but never gotten the chance until now. Why are you staring at me? I don't know. I'm going the right way. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I think we're going the wrong way. There's a thing right here though. Ooh, we can go check that out. Good call. This is actually pretty cool. Oh. We could even do the super hipster foot shot. Okay. <laughs> I think I might actually do that now. Oh man, well, that's pretty neat. Really like that right there. And there's a hole in the cloud too. That's pretty cool. You see the hole in the cloud? That one? Yep, that one. such a 